Pick the Nintendo Shack and pray. Frederick from Fire Emblem Awakening says, yo. Welcome to this week's episode of the Nintendo Shack Podcast. Hopefully we all got one extra hour of sleep last night from the day change, fall back. Is that why I feel so rested? Sleep. Probably. Yes. Yeah. I was like, yeah. what am I well today? Yeah. yeah. You got an extra you. hour. Yeah, it's the springtime no where you get one fewer hour of sleep. But this is an exciting show today because not only is uh, Delvin returning with me and Donnie, but we also have a special guest today. Dr. Garrett Bland. Oh, hello, guys. How are you guys doing? Back, Garrett. From Returning. Being away from Nintendo Shack for so long. Yes, I, I had a mass exodus, uh, blocked my Nintendo Switch. I've just been playing Steam Deck <laughs> now. This whole You've been a one. Nintendo sure, hater. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Dual boot the system. I only need the Steam Deck in my life now. It's like really good. Right, Donnie? Garrett, what? I, I, no, absolutely it's me. Not. I love my Steam Deck. Yeah, I, I know, Rebecca. Yeah. I'm the Steam. I'm all about do it. You like, do you like the OLED? It's a I good OLED it. screen. Okay, cool. It's good. amazing. We've good. considered many times changing this to the to the Steam Shack. We have? I, I yes. would be back. I would be uh, back uh, regularly for that. Wow. For sure. Mm-hmm. 100%. <laughs> News to me, too, but hey, Who's I love my Steam Deck. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca, look at you like, look at me. Me and Garrett are gonna go off and start our own podcast. I'm living my best switch <laughs> life. What's going on? Oh yeah. No, let's let's, this talk, is what I... let's let's catch up. Let's uh talk about Nintendo. Let's talk about Garrett. What what has been in your world, in your corner of the world lately? Or like playing games or what? Anything. Tell us anything. anything. <laughs> we missed you. Uh, okay. Um I did play Final Fantasy Seven on Nintendo Switch. Ooh. That was a thing. The OG. Hold on, which one. version? The OG, oh, the only version that's oh. on. The yeah, that's the only one that's on the Switch. <laughs> oh, I forgot. It's the Crisis Core that's on Switch, not the um. Yeah, the Crisis the Core is on Switch. Which now, this is the first time I play Final Fantasy VII. By the way, you totally shouldn't play Crisis Core first. <laughs> I remember no. Donnie asking Devin once, "Is like, should I play this Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core?" I and- was just like, "We're gonna try Final Fantasy one day." Everybody wants me to try. Was it sixteen? And I was like, well, there's good. one on Switch. Like, I just Googled Switch Final Fantasy, and like that one popped up. And I was like, so this one? And it was like, absolutely, absolutely not. You no. should not. <laughs> yeah. You will be you can't confused. go wrong with the OG. Yeah, the OG was. So it was the first time playing it. It's it's pretty Does good. It hold, that's it the one that made today? me. That's the one that made me hate Final Fantasy forever. So I'm not gonna try oh, really? that one. That's like everybody's favorite one, though. Yeah. Donnie, you never heard Donnie's story about this? Yeah, we tell, That's yeah, like the Ocarina of Time of Final Fantasy. Well, yeah, pretty much. Not great. I will <laughs> say this. The, the characters and dialogue and story is very good. Like, you, they, they shouldn't change anything about that. It's really the quality of life stuff, going throughout the world, um, getting into battles, messing with your, um, was it, Materia system stuff. Yes. All, all the mechanics is very dated. Um, you can get soft locked pretty oh. easily. In this game, oh yeah, because you can get like an area that's your it's pretty powerful area. You just have no idea. So, yeah, yeah, I wish they did some sort of remake. Not 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 the Final Fantasy VII. The, remake. I have news for you. They did. They did. No, 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 no. <laughs> news I like for that. You. You're gonna lose it. Just update the quality of life stuff. Keep the story the same, and I think that that would have been a smash hit. And you could have put a, put that on Switch, like a remaster, not a reimagining. Yeah, pretty much. This reimagining stuff, it's is going way overblown. It's a yeah, little too I much. I don't know if people know this. The Final Fantasy VII remake. Spoilers for it. Spoilers. It's kind of a sequel to Final yeah. Fantasy VII. It's not an actual remake of the original game. Hmm. It's it's a different game. <clears throat> yes. One hundred one hundred percent. It's a weird thing. Yeah, I do. But I do love the story of Final Fantasy VII OG. So if you have not, if if you're you know tolerant on the RPG stuff like data mechanics, very solid story. Very much enjoy it. So 
There you go. There's your RPG feel. We don't get a lot of RPG love here anymore, Garrett. There you go. Bad. It's been nice. Yeah. Yeah. I played that. I played Trials of Mana. You know what that is? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mana. What was that? Mana. Trials of Mana. I got my Texas accent out. I was gonna say there's its roots. So I played some Switch stuff. Don't worry. I'm still going back there sometimes. But what about recent Switch games? Have you played anything this year? Thousand Year Door, Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. Are wow. you picking up Brothership? I have. What's that? Gosh, what do I have? What's that uh, VanillaWare game? I, I forgot. Um, what it, Overlord. I played about 15 yes. hours of that, and it's very good. Yeah, I, I have Sean? that. Unicorn Overlord. It's like oh, a. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a real time, I don't strategy know, action. Game. Yeah, strategy game, I guess you can say. I heard that was good. That'll be my December game. Okay. Like, I haven't planned it out. But no, I haven't been playing Thousand Year Door, Echoes of Wisdom. Sorry about that. So, yeah. Tear. Understandable. Understandable. Garrett left Shaq were... like, fuck all that shit. I know. Like four <laughs> RPGs. He's off doing bigger and better things than these silly little Nintendo games. I'm not summoning beds to go across oceans and rivers. <laughs> you don't know what look, you're missing out on. Look here, Garrett. I have summoned many beds in my day, if you get my point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to respond to that, so. <laughs> look at this. Clearly, hey, your name goes with only it. Only to okay. then. You got to welcome back. Okay, Never mind. I take, I take it back. back. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Bye bye. <laughs> no, you, you, Echoes of Wisdom is very. Um, if you like the top down Zelda games of, of old school, your. It looks uh, good. Mm-hmm. It's, it's very like throwback to a lot of those. But, yeah, like, yeah. It'll kind of draw us from like the 3D, recent 3D games. And it's Grezzo. I love Grezzo. It's, yeah. it's it's my so set. put it on your list it doesn't have to be very high but put it put it on there you know for somewhere down the road good yeah. christmas game a good christmas game yeah, for sure yeah yeah for sure yeah and and you see the message there i imagine gary is in love with metaphor oh, yes I was metaphor gonna, yeah, Ray fantasio mm-hmm. yeah that, that looks like a game that should be on switch it let, looks let me ask you a question yeah, well, mm-hmm. there are a lot of great rpgs coming out right now <laughs> like i'm looking at the it's that there's too many to play Metal yeah, 4, boy. Dragon Age, which I'm playing right now, it's so much amazing stuff out there. How do you how do you know I can distinguish which one you want to play? Oh, I give up. So long. <laughs> uh, just Dragon cool. Age, I for sure knew I didn't want to play day one. I, I'm, I'm a big I, Dragon I, Age person. I'm not a big Dragon, Dragon Age. Age. Oh, okay. Okay. How are you liking Bailguard? It's awesome. It is oh, it's really? the okay. bio where I missed C. Mm. So I'm having a great time with it. Okay. Okay. That's all I'm playing. Really, for me, I really pick on like a few games that are at my pace during the year. It's like maybe three or four RPGs, and then once there's like a lull, I go to the backlog. And actually, Ryan uh, from the RPG Cave, he assigns me games, uh, older games too, to play. So I've been playing. What was it? It was Lunar, um, Mass Effect One, and then Final Fantasy Seven. Yeah. So sorry. I've been playing older games. Yeah. The original Luna was Silver Soul yet? Story? Hmm? Sorry. <laughs> no, go ahead, Rebecca. I asked if you, so you just said Mass Effect 1. Did you play Mass Effect 2 yet? I haven't played Mass Effect 1. He assigned me it currently, so I got to play it. Yeah. Let me know when you play 2. Okay. That's the I game. I will say That's this. That's the game. I'm a, as a huge Mass Effect fan. 1 will you? is a little bit of a slog getting through now, but it's, it's a lot more RPG heavier than uh, 2 and 3. Yeah, that's what I hear. So yeah. I'm looking forward to it for sure. Great, great series. My, mm-hmm. Probably one of my top five game series. It's very good. That's what I keep hearing. I, I feel like it's on my shun list. It's like, you, you're an RPG fan. Why you haven't been playing this this series that everyone loves? I'm just like. Very good. Well, it's ve- no to time. be fair, it's very different. It's action. It's action RPG. It's <laughs> like, like it is heavy on the action part. So I get it. Yeah. There you go. That's my RPG, Phil. Now Donnie can come back in and, and interact with everyone. <laughs> do your thing. I want to know what Delvin's been up to for the past two weeks. Sick. Dying. <laughs> Trying not to meet the Lord. That's what I've been up to. Oh, no. <laughs> but I'm feeling a lot better now. Um, I was And I was the kind of sucky sick. The kind that you're so sick you can't even like play games. So like oh, I don't want to play no games. Was it like flu or something or COVID? I, I thought it was COVID. 
Mm-hmm. So I took the test, and the test came out negative, but I was like... You might have had the flu. Yeah, it was really yeah, bad. I was like messed up for like a week. I can take you out for sure. Yeah, I couldn't even get up out the bed. They was had to do like a wellness after, check on me. Was that after your trip? Yes. So you got, got to enjoy water. the trip? Yeah. I did. The trip was a lot of fun. Where was your trip, Bahamas. Delvin? I went on a cruise to Bahamas. So oh, that's nice. Yeah, it was really good. Nice. He didn't take really. me. He didn't take me either. I was like, that's uh, rough. <laughs> I've been on a cruise to the Bahamas, though. It's really nice. Don't say things like that lightly, Rebecca. You have tickets show up real quick. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm he sorry gives, that you were... women purses full of money. That you were so sick, Delvin. I'm, uh, you seem like you're, you're, you're looking and feeling a lot better then, yeah? Oh, I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm yeah. Good. Getting back into the groove with thing. I think the main thing, once I started feeling better, was just how hungry I was. Like, mm. it's like, I was like, I was so sad I couldn't eat. And then when I started feeling better, I went the morning, I started feeling better. I went to um, Walmart to get me something to eat because I haven't eaten like in days. And I got some apples and they were like the greatest apples I've ever tasted in my, oh my life. Gosh. I ate like well, yeah, six apples. What kind you don't want to eat anything or you're like it's throwing it all up. Vitamins is what it is. Yeah. Yes. I think they, they're like, um, I think they're in a red box, and they have like the special Olympics, Olympic style tag on them. Is uh, Honeycrisp, Fuji? I uh, think they're Honeycrisp. They don't say Honeycrisp. Honeycrisp, but, uh, but they were just fantastic, and I've been eating ever since. Ooh. Good. But yeah, it's been it's been good. I've I've you been having been playing. I'm gonna get back to Zelda soon because I've been playing that. But you know, Dragon Age is. I love Bioware. It's taking you over. It's going to turn into yeah. Tears of Kingdom all over again. He's going to be here like next <laughs> autumn. Well, there's, well, that's going to be. That's going to be so much to play right now. I feel like you know we it was a slow year, and now like since September hit, like there have been just games for everybody. You, mm-hmm. you know what? I'm going to give Donnie credit because on PSVG at the beginning of the year, me and Dev was like, oh, we're not too hyped for this year. It wasn't just you. It was kind of the whole industry. Like, the whole yeah. commentators was like in the in the in the water at the time. Everybody well, yeah, because yeah. we didn't think you know PlayStation wasn't going to have any big I hit. This year was you know, be Xbox great the whole had time. Nintendo yeah. was on their last year of the Switch. We didn't think there was going to be anything yeah. exciting. Like we're like counting on just indies to carry us through the year. Yeah, but this October has this October September has been insane. It has been incredible. Yeah. Like I I am looking at this stuff like this is mm. amazing. This has been one of the best. October, I remember in a while. Like even looking yeah. at like Call of Duty, Call of Duty is getting high praise. Oh, for the dude, story and I, stuff I've like been that. playing that too. Like <laughs> several delays. That yeah. being on Game Pass is just revolutionary to me. It's like, yeah, I'm back into Call of Duty. What I'm Call of Duty dudes. game is it? It's Black, Black Ops Six. Six. Yeah. Six. They're on six now. Yeah, uh, Rebecca, I hate to break it to you. They have a lot more than just six. Of them. They have like six Black Ops. Oh they got like 14 God. Modern Warfare. It's crazy. They're going to just keep going forever. They have several fair times they can go on forever. When are with. they going to turn it into a live service game and just like they make it so too. there's... They, it basically has. They have that. They, 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 they have that. They but they're still that. getting Warzone. your $70 every year. <laughs> Goddamn right. Yeah, they get, yeah. Yeah, Literally, they down, you have a tile that says Call of Duty. On the and then you open that up and then and it's, it's all your Call of Duty games, games wow. inside there. That's mm-hmm. brilliant. Call of Duty is the only franchise that I'm like two two hour campaign. Yeah, I'll give you seventy dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. The, the campaign it's is so very amazing solid looking. Two hours. Yes. Yeah, I'm like this is great. It's like it's an a, action movie. Yeah, pretty much. It's so good. Uh, Garrett, I know you downloaded it because I've seen your posts about it, and I know Donnie was excited about it. Uh, the Pokemon TCG Pocket. Heck yeah! Did you end I- up getting it, Donnie? Okay, Donnie. So I was gonna like, save this to later, or whatever. But I just want to let everybody know out up in front. I don't think I'm gonna be everybody's like favorite on the show, like just generally. <laughs> and uh, this is a part of it. Like this is one of many <laughs> grievances that I'll bring up. Um, I did download. Pokemon the card game and um I got Marowak on my first pool. I was like, this is great. Oh, it knows nice. me. Yeah, this me is too. good. Yeah. And then I played that game for another 30 minutes and was like, I'm deleting this shit. And I never tried it again. Yeah. Well it's and not like, wow. a it's a That's slow burn went. type of a game. Slow burn. You're not it's supposed full to... of microtransaction bullshit, which I can't well, it's really stand. not. It's that's unfortunate. You, that's like really not it. even true. First of all, it I is. spent zero dollars and I have okay, you can say that about every game. 
Like literally every mobile game you can go, I've paid zero dollars and they let me keep playing. That doesn't mean it's not full of timers and stamina mechanics and like buy some gold and get this currency to turn can into that something? currency to buy more. So I, me and Josh moved to New Zealand uh, for the past month and a half and congratulations. We, we've been playing it early. Um, so Big life decision this, before yeah. it released. Just for Pokemon. It, you're a different language there. <laughs> what, what did you come here for? I came here for the Pokemon. <laughs> Before it released internationally for everybody, there were no ways to buy microtransactions. And let me tell you, Josh has played that game every damn night. He's been playing battles online. He's <laughs> like has almost all the cards that you can get so far. Zero dollars spent. So he's That's getting good. enjoyment out of it because he moved to New Zealand. Transactions were even yeah. a possibility, and the game's pretty generous. There is a stamina meter, but you can open two decks a day, at a minimum, and if then you, you get the hourglasses. Right? Well, no, the, the I mean, you packs. can, you can, but if you, you subscribe, if you can you open battle, more booster packs, Garrett. If you battle, you, if you can get the hourglasses to get more, more packs. Than everybody else. So, true, but you don't need to. Okay. It's very generous. You get two packs a day. I'm sorry I spoke. No, I, I think that's good information because um, I was interested in this game a little bit as well because you know, I love like the Yu-Gi-Oh games. Like I played them on the it's PS4 good. all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was like, maybe I'll, maybe this would be the one that I'll actually the Pokemon card game I'll actually get into and start playing. It's a very but, simplified like Yu-Gi-Oh Magic card game. It's yes. like pretty easy to get into. So. I would try it yeah, out. Could. It's free. Yeah, I might try it out. Just to, just to see the feel of it. And I don't know if I don't like the mac microtransactions part of it, but no. In the beginning, you unlock so many missions and challenges that you actually unlock enough of these hourglasses so you can yeah. open 10 packs. They're very That's generous with them. That's how they get you. And oh, then yeah. they start, you they, know, they got me for free. You're not and get for that and do that. And I just, I don't like that stuff. By nature, you, you can know, I don't, basically wait for the 12 I don't hours. Want to see it. Well, I don't I want to do want that. To see it. I don't want an alert. I don't want a banner. I don't want a ping. I don't want anything. I don't want all that stuff. You just stuff, don't want man. a mobile, mobile gotcha game then. 100%. Yeah. And this well, is why I can play Pokemon Go too, because they were like, hey, did you run out of Pokeballs? Guess what? We've got something for you. I can't stand that. I will so say I have not felt tempted. I am very disciplined in my <clears throat> not spending money on mobile games. Uh, I don't. I will say though, I don't care even the least bit about the battling at all. Like Josh really is like, all about okay. the battling. I am not. I am all about just getting the cards and looking at my shiny little collection mm -hmm. and getting the full art cards and then getting the they're ones cool. where like it moves on the inside they're and they're cool. just so pretty to look at. I, I miss the. Um, I wanted, or it's not that I miss. I mean, I think you can roll back the tape to a previous Shack episode, and folks that listen to us will know this. I thought this was a replacement for the Pokemon the card game app that you like you can oh. play, right? Because me and Jack, we actually played the card game, like the real card game, not like your card battle my card, like the actual card game, the strategy and building the decks and all that. Mm -hmm. And I didn't. I don't see this as that. Um, so it's just a just a miss for me. Sorry. Let me ask regard, a question. You know. This might be a silly question, but is there a way you can scan your cards into the game? No. No, that's no. a different <clears throat> app. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. You, you cool may be able to like, get you with that and make you collect them all over again. There is the Pokemon TCG, the regular app, where like every time you get a pack, you can like scan it and then your cards go in the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is different. And that's where the game where you you actually play the, the card game against like other people. Like the real rules of the card game. This is very okay. like baby's first. But it does have like that highlights magazine, like flash game look. And I was hoping I love that they how would, you like, open the packs in this one. You like, you, you buy it in and then it's, it's like fun. a reel of packs and then you click one. It's and so then satisfying. You, you swipe to cut open the pack. And then you like, and then you flip your cards like you know. I'm not the only person cards. that realizes how so predatory good. this is. You guys are like, I love, I love the addiction of of the the satisfy the satisfaction that I get. From. I have patience. That's I feel like get. patience is my greatest virtue. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? We'll see. And so, and so, like they're sitting there just dialing those timers back, just little every day. You just get ingrained to just doing this, and then they're just mm -hmm. going to start dialing it back, dialing it back. That's how these things work. You know what? I'm kind of used to it because I play NBA 2K25, 
<laughs> and oh when you get into the game, God. they're like, hey, here's these five starter packs. And Do you want some like, shoes? Okay, nice. We've got <laughs> shoes you can have for your player. It's $24. Can, can I just play the game? <laughs> here's the thing. I should feel very thankful that Nintendo never did this with Animal Crossing or Splatoon. Facts. Yeah. Because those are the games that would get me. Pokemon so won't get me. But yeah. those are the ones that would, that I would probably mm-hmm. end up putting... In a, a Splatoon sounds like a great idea. I'm not gonna lie. Rebecca, let I'm me ask you. A, let me ask you a question. Yes. Do you believe in the creasing? Okay, I have tried that every single time. There's this theory that, like, you because you know you can go through and you can pick you know the de- the the uh, pack that you want to open and like you can kind of spin it around with your finger. You can look mm-hmm. at it before you decide to pick it. And people online are saying that like if you pull it to the side and like kind of look at like there's like a little indent okay. or like a yeah. little piece that it looks like crooked that that has a greater chance of pulling like a really rare card and I, ever since i saw that i have done it every single time me too mm-hmm. and i've gotten like maybe a, a like an okay card at best yeah me too i i don't believe it i'm not a believer mm-hmm. Not a believer in it. But some people are swearing by it. That it is like happened every time for them. So maybe, maybe good for them. Maybe, maybe y'all are both fake. blind. Your eyes don't work like mine. Maybe. A deep fake out there. It's yeah. it's AI. Deep AI fake out there. Probably. The rumors. Probably. So I don't know. I'm going to probably keep <laughs> trying it because I'm a crazy person. But. Mm-hmm. I mean. We, man, I I did the one poll last night where I was searching each pack for that crease. I couldn't find. The I crease. couldn't find one either, and I was, I was like, like, I no, was losing I'm my good. mind. I'm like, wait, this one kind of looks like it's like a little <laughs> slanted. <laughs> I was losing my mind. <laughs> I was like, dang, I'm just gonna pick one and yeah, just just go for it. But yeah. but I've got because having, I've been playing it for so long. I feel like I've gotten. I've gotten so many cards mm-hmm. now. Like I'm most pulls now do not have anything good in them. Hopefully they they update the packs pretty frequently, frequently yeah. because I'm I'm like over halfway through the yeah. the three packs that are in there right now. Um yeah. I like how when you get the rare cards in the packs you can get rental decks um yes. based off of those cards and then so you, you can, can use those in your solo battles. Mm-hmm. Um very cool. Uh, do you also that. see when you're when you after you pull open a pack you can like kind of tilt it and you can see if the back card is like a holographic card oh yeah like yeah. like like like, like move it around you can't see what it is but you can see that there's one there mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's really cool so i've been so, yeah this is gonna be my mobile gotcha game for there you go the foreseeable future so let me know every time i like seeing your post when you get like a like a cool card yeah yeah well, Donnie, then what have you been up to? What have you been yeah. playing? Donnie, what save us. Stuff? Donnie, uh, save us. Stuff for the last hour, I'm watching I'm watching the race there in Brazil, and it's like the craziest race of the year. It's like all, oh, we're all, screwed. all chaos is going on. <laughs> yeah, we're done. Um, What am I doing? Um, Where are the notes? I don't even know where my stuff is. Um, <laughs> I see Clock Tower. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Playing special, Clock Tower. Yeah. No, the special edition isn't shipped yet. I just bought it on oh. Steam. So I'm still waiting for the the Switch version. I've been playing a lot of Clock Tower, but Halloween games. So during Halloween, um, we set up like I had a hot chocolate station. I brought out like my little lunch table and set up a hot chocolate station. And everything that I ran while the kids handed the candy, and um, so I was playing on I was playing Clock Tower on the uh, R- Rog Ally, and uh, was playing Pumpkin Jack and playing Luigi's Mansion mm-hmm. Two, just playing Great. Halloween spooky games, like getting in the mood. Um, I got my N64 cartridges, Rebecca. And I was playing <gasps> yeah. Pokemon Yellow right. on 64, which I is really great. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah that, that was that super is fun. Um, and it's just a lot more convenient. Like we have the transfer pack and Stadium, and I've shown Jack like this is how I played Pokemon, and mm-hmm. so we could do that. This is a lot easier. You just plug it in, turn it on, and you're mm-hmm. in the game. Uh, also has like save and reload states, so you can kind of cheese it just like you can on 3DS and stuff cool. if you want. Um, I'm playing. Oh, I play Castaway. Have you guys heard of this? No, no. Is it based Surely on the movie Rebecca. with Tom Hanks? I wish. That'd be no. Great. Castaway is a Zelda clone inspired by Link's Awakening. Oh, cool. And um, I got it. There was like a sale, like I don't know, a month ago, and I bought a. I bought like eight games for like twenty dollars, and this was one of them. I think I got this game for like two ninety nine, and uh, it's a very short zelda game you beat this game in like an hour 
Oh, um, it even looks like Link. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. This is literally cool. Link's Awakening. And it has like these little little cutscenes and a couple of mechanics. You go through like three little dungeons, a lot of puzzles, like a lot of block puzzles and stuff. And I had fun. It was a fun little experience. Okay. I didn't pay a whole lot for it, but uh, it was nice. And if you're looking for that Zelda itch, I would yeah. uh, in, implore you to do that. Nice. Uh, and then uh, the only thing that I really was doing, and you may have seen it on our social channels, um, this weekend I haven't. My my daughter had her senior walk at a football game for her last band performance, and then last last night was their band competition. So I've not been home uh, this weekend doing a whole lot. Um, but last night at the band performance, which I, I to be honest with you, I loathe. There's not like a thing I, I would it. least like to do in I my entire it. life. There's like 13 high school bands, and not the good mm-hmm. bands. A lot of the inner city bands, oh, okay. teachers and dancers and flipping and the, not that, yeah. like mediocre. No, just like the whitest of bread bands, mm-hmm. like the, like we do it for the art bands. Yeah, you're not getting drumline. Oh yeah, not drumline, not entertainment, not that <laughs> at all. You know, like the art, the artful expression through the music of band is what we were seeing. Like thirteen schools in a row. Schools that aren't near my school, schools I do not care about. Um, So I brought the Switch with me. And uh, the Switch Lite is my main platform. So I had to carry the Switch Lite. When I mean it's my my primary console, right? So I can't switch games on it because I I don't have an internet connection if I was to bring, like, the OLED. So I grabbed this. I grabbed some Joy-Cons. I synced some Joy-Cons to the Switch Lite. And me and Jack, after my daughter's performance... We got up and left the stands, and we went to these baseball bleachers in the back, and we actually had our like little Nintendo Karen moment, nice. where we put the damn switch down and we handed each other a Joy-Con, and we were playing games off a single Joy-Con. <laughs> we played, um, we played a bunch of things. We learned a lot of things. Like we tried to play Smash like that. It took eight years for me to try and sit down and play Smash with a Joy-Con. <laughs> it's not great. How like it's not go? a great way to play. Yeah. That yeah. sounds horrible. Especially on a little switch light screen, like that course select screen where there's like 80 levels to pick from. You don't know what you're, you're like, just I don't know. It's all just random. You're like, just pick one. Like, it doesn't matter. Um, but we played Smash, we played Kart, we played um, Mario Party, we did Kupathlon. I had fun doing the Kupathlon. fun. You know, I, 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 I like the other mode. I think more the Bowser oh, boom I did thing. Try that one. I tried yeah, it. How did you think? It was good. I had fun with it. I don't think I could play like a ton of it because I don't know. We couldn't play either one of them local co-op, and that was a bummer. Oh. I was like, why can't we play the boom mode as a co-op? Yeah. So we we were we were playing and we were swapping a Joy-Con. Here's the thing. So we're playing cart. Cart's fun, but even on it, like a split, yeah, you know, like it's amazing that the Switch Lite, as old as it is, and can still run like. Mario Kart and split screen, like local co-op, like off the system. That's pretty cool. Um, but let me tell you, the most enjoyable co-op experience that we had of all the games we were playing in our little Switch Karen setup. Don't say arms. Was Mario Golf. Oh. Mm, interesting. Because of like, because it's a golf, I think because it's a golf game, because it's like you take turns to swing, you take turns mm-hmm. to play. So you're not splitting the screen, right? Like it just kind of worked. Like and like actual Mario Party worked really well too. But even some of the mini games, especially when they split screen are going to smaller, like it's a little tougher. Mm-hmm. We actually had a blast playing Mario. That was maybe the most fun I had playing Mario Golf the entire time that I've owned it. Well, there you um, go. You found the secret magic to enjoying. Yeah, the yeah, the recipe. It made it better. Um, ooh, we just got a red flag. Wow. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing all kinds of stuff. It's it's crazy. It's a crazy day out the race. It's in the rain. All all hell's breaking loose. Chaos. Um. But yeah, yeah, that's it. I've played a bunch of like sampling games. Been doing a bunch of different stuff. I also played Call of Duty and other things like that too. So I'm kind of bouncing around. Um, too many games. A little bit of, of Life course. is Strange. Yeah. Yeah. A little no, bit. No, 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 no. I thought, I thought you were gonna say like, how are you? Like the reviews came in. It's like I'm in not. The I'm not reading any reviews. I've blocked everything. I'm having. I thought it was for you critically in my own lane experience. Uh, because I don't want to know what anyone else thinks. Apparently, oh, of course all the spoilers not. are out there. I'm blocking it all out. So well, I don't want to talk about it until I beat the game. I'm not talking about yeah, it. Yeah, man, I want to get it, but. I think I think I need to hold out. I uh, I tend to not buy games if I'm not immediately playing them. 
no. Actually, I try to do that too, and I that's know, why I have a bad wh- habit. Life is Strange has been on like eternally on the on the back yeah. burner. It's like I on just deck. I don't want to get spoiled. It's like I get Shadows of the Damned. Like I still have a lot of things I need to play and like kind of get through mm-hmm. um, before I get to that one. I do have two things I want to share though. The one I sent a picture in the um, Shack chat. Uh, I don't know if you're able to throw that up there on the on the screen for people to see, but every year I do Animal Crossing uh, Halloween party on Halloween with a couple mm. of my friends, mm-hmm. and then we always make sure we dress up in costumes. It's a costume party, and this year I, of course, had to. Normally I dress up as Taylor Swift, but this year I did not because I had a different costume in mind. I dressed up as Echoes of Wisdom Zelda, and you can see it right there at the bottom Great. there with the with the cape and the really dress and, and the wand and the crown. and um, So I was very proud of that one. Uh, I yeah. think I was the best dressed out of everyone. Just I personally. love the brat, though. That's, that's yeah, just, yeah, Charlie XCX. That was very good. It was very good. Well, that's who that is? Yeah. yeah what's, what, okay, what's Her Charlie album, XCX? Brat. That's the, oh. that's the artist who She's that's the, the, artist. the album. Brat is a thing because she has an album called Brat, and it is the the cover is just that lime green color with the word Brat on it. I can't keep up with these Gen C whatever yeah. Gen Alpha. Yeah. Welcome to my whatever life. Whatever Gen it yeah, is. Yeah, right I would now. say they're like they're Gen Garrett, Z. Artists. You're old. Mm-hmm. Welcome to my life, sir. Congratulations. You're I'm trying to old. keep up with it personally. I'm trying to stay young. At heart. We we entered the 30s, and then like everything's foreign now. It's just like, <laughs> yes. you speak a different language. So that are was you my saying talk. that you you are not brat? I'm I'm not brat. He no. did not have a brat summer. No man. Uh, but then also, I went shopping yesterday. Of course, you did. I saw a post online that said, "Hey, in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, they one of the retro game stores out there called Just Press Play is having a big warehouse sale. Actually, I did Ooh. this on Friday." Um, so it was two days ago. Can you give me some N64 uh, so stuff? They, well, listen, they had the, the, you know pictures. It was like this big warehouse. I'm like, we got to go. It's an hour and a half away. We got to go. So Josh ended up buying. drive from New Zealand. It's close by. Listen, yeah, very close. I'm, <laughs> once, once, it, once Pokemon TCG released internationally, I moved back to the United States. That sounds expensive. You. you moved back at a pretty bad time. Yeah. Your <laughs> Terrible time. <laughs> Should have stayed another week. Yeah. <laughs> Or maybe the best time. Who knows? Um, uh, Josh got a Game Boy camera, uh, complete in box. Uh, pretty good, pretty good uh, quality of it. He got the blue version. And the great part about this is that it works with the analog pocket. So he's been really into playing his analog pocket. So he can just kind of stuff it awesome. on there. And then we're gonna we're gonna test it out. Pretty good, um, you know, box. Uh, really good price too. He looked it up on eBay. It was like a couple. It was like a hundred and something dollars for this on eBay, but. Got it for sixty. Nice. Yeah, good yeah, box. Yeah. Does, yeah, yeah. And then I got some DVDs. I have that one. Yeah, <laughs> well, I, I, have, I might have all three of those. <laughs> These are real cheap. They were like five bucks each. Um, the Zel- Legend of Zelda show, Ganon's Evil Tower. Um, oh, great cool. show. Uh, Not really, but it's fun. Mario Kitty. Super Show uh, Greatest Movie Moments with the Inspector Gadget Easy Play. Why is Inspector Gadget on there? That's so weird. Yeah. Well, he, yeah, I liked Inspector Gadget when I was a kid. I do too, but the Zelda show was a part of the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. So they technically should be both in the same thing. They should. They should. And then the Super Mario Bros. Super Show Box Office Mario. So that has like some of the episodes on it. So three three DVDs. They're really five bucks each. So mm. that was my that was my purchase. They had a large cutout, uh, life size cardboard cutout of Samus from Metroid, but oh, it, nice. it was sold before I got there. Oh, so oh, wow. I wanted that. I wanted how much they were selling it for? I don't know. I didn't. I didn't ask. But they had a lot of like boxed up, you know, uh, consoles like new, not new, but like. Uh, boxed n64s and boxed like super nintendos and lots of old stuff like that uh, a lot of boxed game boy colors um but somebody who replied to our tweet said shout out their favorite retro store just press play so that's my shouting them out cool nice dope it's fun i like spending money on old gaming she things. told me i would i want to bought some 64 stuff i'm sorry i would have sent you some funds so sorry did you play that WCW game you said about yet, Naughty? I gotta buy it first. 
Oh, so you didn't download the ROM yet? Then I take it. I'm not gonna download. Yeah, I'm not messing with any ROM. That's Garrett stuff. I'm not doing all that. I'll just buy the cartridge. Garrett stuff. What are you talking? It's better about with the cartridge anyway. So Garrett, I've I've ventured down. I'm buying a bunch of ROM hacks for 64 mm-hmm. because like a recent trend is that people are turning them into actual cartridges. Right. That's what I'm talking about with Pokemon. I have Pokemon Yellow and Gold on N64 cartridge. Cart. Right. And that's yeah, what it was like. You could just cart. get the ROMs and emulate. I'm like, ah, I'm not doing all that. I just want the cart and just I want it to be like it like it's supposed to be. But they print it on a cart, so it's like mm-hmm. FPGA. It feels real. Yeah, yeah, it feels real. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So uh, one of them is uh, somebody took a, a WCW game from the N64 era and they turned it into a brand new game. A brand oh, new cool. campaign, a brand new arenas, a brand new stuff. It's called WCW Saturday Night Live. And uh, I was like, man, I, I got to get that. It just came out. And like they're selling it on Team of, I think it's like 40 bucks. No, that's pretty so good. I, gotta get it. I, I heard there was a Pokemon Crystal. Um, kind of, someone just correct. made it like a Crystal Legacy, which kind of just co- corrects, but like modifies like certain Pokemon and levels. Oh, and is, are you talking about point. Anniversary Crystal? I don't know if it's anniversary. I just heard it's Crystal Legacy, and oh. they, and some dude just printed on Game Boy cards, so oh. you can play on your analog pocket. If you, I played if you, Anniv- I Anniversary Crystals, a lot of fun. Oh, well, well, which one's that one? Um, Come on, kind of similar to what you just described. I'll, oh, I'll look at. Okay. I'll send it to you later. Cool, sounds good. But I, I can't get into that because if I do get into these types of things, it would just be a money sink. It would just be like I'm, I'm broke. Yeah, basically. that's me. So Hi. I, I just kind of block off that. that the analog sixty four guy. Like, I, you know, I just went way down the rabbit hole. I bought a bunch. Of, I got a brand new Zelda game. I got Pokemon I games. Saw. I got S- Smash Remix. There's something that won't even come until next year. That's okay. You got to get ready. Though. But worth he, it. Donnie can still play it because he has the N sixty four. So I do. And that is true. Yeah. So good point. Anything else before we move on to the news? I'm good. Okay. No. So November games uh, for Magia is out now. For anybody that wanted it, came out on the first. Metal Slug Tactics is out on the fifth. Heck yeah! Uh, you gonna get it? I don't think I'll get it, but it's on my fantasy <laughs> critic pick. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh I'm yeah, sec- you're up there, right? I'm second place. I might scrape by and get fourth. Yeah, jo- John Thirty Two has it in the back because he has yeah. the Microsoft Flight Simulator Twenty Four. Yeah. So he's yeah. like, yeah. he's gonna just. I mean, he's already ahead, so he's gonna just blow it out of the water. I can't wait for all those graphics to come out of all the different outlets that love flight sim. Yeah, on their forty ninety supers. We gotta stop <laughs> acting like that's a game. Dude, he got <laughs> Astrobot. He got Astrobot on his. Oh, he got winner. thirty right freaking points. Good that's job. Yeah. No, he's um good. Mother Mario and Luigi Brothership comes on the seventh. Tetris Forever on the twelfth. Lego Horizon Adventures the fourteenth. Dragon Quest three. 2D HD remake on the 14th. My Sims Cozy Bundle on the 19th. Stray comes to the Switch on the 19th. And then Nine Souls rounds out the month on the 26th. I want to get, get Stray physically on Switch just for the collection. I have an yeah. obscene yeah. amount of Stray merchandise. Yeah, you should. Just do I it. would. Yeah. yeah. Mario and Luigi Brothership. I, I want to get it. It's not going to be a day one purchase, though. Because I will not play it day one. So maybe December mm-hmm. or January, somewhere around there. Definitely looking forward to that. But I am getting Dragon Quest 3 2D HD remake. I admire your discipline of not buying games that you're not going to play right away. That was even my question. Really Is anybody buying here. any of these games? Hmm? No. Like Rebecca's like, no. Rebecca's yeah. like, yeah, host a uh, giant Nintendo podcast. Are you buying any of these games this month? Absolutely not. None. I'm going to get Le- Lego Horizon. I uh, on, on, on the Switch. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. I also ordered it on the Switch, so I'll be getting out of these games. I'll be playing Horizon, and maybe Tetris, and that's probably it. Cool. I'll probably get Dragon Quest maybe one day. That's like if I can ever score a deal on it, I might be tempted. But it looks so good. It does look good. Mm-hmm. It's just the like, prices. Rebecca, I'm surprised you're not going for that one. For which one? Dragon Quest 3 2D HD. I that's one that I'm interested in, but like I just don't I don't have enough like I've never played a Dragon Quest game so I don't feel like I have like the loyalty of of like needing to get it immediately. That's mm-hmm. one that I want to keep my eyeball on though cuz I think I would like it. 
just to let everyone know, Dragon Quest Three is technically the chronologically the first game because okay. Dragon Dragon Quest One, Two, and Three right. are yeah. together in a trilogy, and then Three is the kind of like the first one, and then they're actually making One and Two remake later on. Right, I do remember mm-hmm. that. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting how they release this, but that's just yeah how they're going to do it. One thing I completely forgot to mention, and I didn't write it down, is that I have Sonic Generations and Shadows for Switch. Yeah, I've played it, and um, I was worried because all, it seemed like all the feedback was that it's really bad on Switch, mm-hmm. and it's not like great, but it's like for completely different. It's like just performance reasons. Like image quality, the game is actually incredible. It's like okay. better than Bayonetta three. Yeah, like Switch, okay. this game looks great. It's unfortunately when you start to move, which is a big part of a Sonic game. Yeah, it's true. Uh, like it, some say the some, most important part of a Sonic yeah, game. Yeah, the frame rate is just bad. And it's not like, I don't know how to, it's like, I'm not sure if it's just it needs to be 60, like Sonic games should just run at 60, maybe, I don't know. But mm-hmm. like, it, it feels consistent, like it's playable, it just seems off. You know, it's almost like a, like it just, I don't know, like messes with your eye. You're like something... Something just doesn't feel right. Like if you're moving slowly and jumping around and stuff, it's fine. But once you start like sonicking around and pinballing around off of stuff, it it gets it's like it's like a, it's like a stutter. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's yeah, it's just rough. wait to so, play it on Switch too. Yeah, that's that's, that's that's literally what I was. I was like, this is gonna be great one day. Mm-hmm. One day on my next system, this game is gonna be amazing. <laughs> yeah, because it does look like I mean, it's it looks great, and uh, I love the old generation. I'm sure Shadow. I'm hearing Shadow is even better. Yeah. I kind of wish I was like, I should have bought this on Steam. D Life and Delvin love this game. They yeah, say like it's it, incredible. It seems really good. Yeah, that is the thing that's kind of that's that's the thing that makes it a bummer more than anything else. It's like, man, this looks great. Yeah, they're saying they're talking crazy. They like this is game of the year material. I'm like, what? Oh yeah. And, like, it's that good. I'm like, I, don't <laughs> I, don't, I don't believe you at all. <laughs> that sounds like a lie. But apparently it's really good. Okay, into the actual news. Xenoblade Chronicles X Definitive Edition is coming to Nintendo Switch this March. That was originally big available on the Wii U system in 2015. The action RPG comes to Switch with enhanced visuals, added story elements, and more when it launches on March 20th, 2025. Pre-orders are now live. Uh, Xenoblade X is voucherable. You can voucher it if you want. It is not the uh, HD port of a Wii U game that we wanted, Donnie. Um, that's correct. <laughs> Garrett would <laughs> Garrett would argue that point, but that's correct. Um, announced via tweet. Yeah. Like, just <laughs> here it is. I <laughs> mean, have you noticed? It's been kind of a Twitter direct lately. Like, we had the, um, the Alarmo that was tweeted mm-hmm. and announced. We had the Nintendo Music app mm-hmm. that was tweeted mm-hmm. and announced. Yeah. Now we have this that is tweeted and announced. Um, people have poured over it. We have comparisons. Nintendo World Report uh, is the stuff that's been shared in our channels most. I think maybe they're doing the best job. It looks great. It looks like in like it looks really good. quality lighting. Mm-hmm. It looks incredible. We'll okay. still run at 30 frames a second. That should not be a surprise. Probably. Like every Xenoblade game ever has run at 30 frames <laughs> And, 30 and frame I have full confidence it's going to run pretty well because Xenoblade Chronicles 3 was really good perform and Xenoblade Chronicles mm. one uh HD remake whatever on Switch, the definitive edition. I th- I feel like it had the same kind of touch ups and performance. I think they was said really this well. is Nintendo World Report also, if I remember, I think they said this was in their Pixel County, it was ten eighty, which I think is a wow. first. Because all of the other ones have ran at seven twenty. And that was the main, like my bummer with the with the definitive edition of the first one. I was like, come on, you could have like got something more out of it but apparently they did with this one um this was the reason why we invited garrett i pinged over to Garrett. I'm like hey you want to come talk on shack this week because we have big xenoblade game this is a big game um but i also can speak to this one which puts me in a uh, unfamiliar place here on the show um because there was a time back in the day where i was kind of a huge xenoblade fan Mm-hmm. And then I played two in Torna and three, and then I stopped being a Xenoblade fan. Um, but coming off the Wii U, uh, Xenoblade X was the last, I think, traditional RPG like this that I like sunk a lot of time into. Mm. Uh, it was the last one. I probably played Xenoblade Chronicles X on Wii U for 60 or 70 hours. Um, and I can say that like wholly because I printed the guide. 
Like I had the guide wow. for the book like printed in a binder and was going through it and like high, like I was so into the game. I had really for like this one. So I really did. Uh to this day it's one of my favorite soundtracks. Like the music for Xenoblade X is supreme. It is it is great. Mm-hmm. Um it's a fun game and and here but here's what I would say. Garrett, did you ever play the Wii U version or is this be your first I, game? I, I haven't had a Wii U, so Okay, I so this one. Mm-hmm. This is what I'd like to tell everybody. This is very different than your standard Xenoblade game. Uh, mm-hmm. It's not nearly about waifus and the relationships and the stories and the cutscenes. Yep. It's giant open world fetch quest simulator. <laughs> like it's giant side quest simulator where you can unlock cars and mechs and fuck around and go giant fight giant monsters and stuff. Um, I I was more into it for that I think, and I think maybe that why it kept me. Um, the advice that I always give everybody is when you see those awesome Vista shots of the horizon and your giant Gundam wing flying in the sunlight, just know that that's like 50 hours into the game. Like you legit have to play this game for like 30 hours before you get anything like that. Also know that if you take it into battle, now I'm hoping maybe this is something that they change with the definitive edition. If you take it into battle and you try to go take down some giant, spider creature and it like totally fucks you over you have to rebuild that mech so all the grinding to get all the money and everything to fix it and repair it you have to do um but it's a dark game it's kind of like this end of the world type of thing um yeah i loved it i really and loved it, it based on earth and like america and, and yeah like yeah well it's like it's that. uh i forget what if like the colony and all that but like yeah it kind of has those tones for sure mm-hmm. there's a xenoblade is a very interesting series and also with x being the black sheep out of the rest of them because the rest of them are as you said they're waifus they're anime yeah. characters very into the story and narrative x just seems like here's this game this this single player mmo of mechs and cars and just yeah it out (laughs) yeah and that was the thing the reason that i had that guide is because you had to figure so much out it doesn't give you a whole lot of like here's where to go Mm -hmm. (laughs) like there's no like golden point like go there and also like i remember you could go like the game on the game pad all these like hexagon tiles and you would go and drop like these it's like you're like charting the map essentially mm-hmm. you go build the map by dropping these things in the ground and like scanning the environment like it's just kind of like open world map game like when so many people are like oh god i can't stand ubisoft and their map games like this is the map game <laughs> like it is right. the map of map games right um, i was really into it I, I liked it a lot back in the day and i and i, I never reached the end mm-hmm. i reached the end of what i could put into it and then i watched the ending i was like i'll just go watch the ending of this game <laughs> Yeah, it's, it sounds like that kind of game. It's just so weird to see this on a tweet. I thought it was a fake. I thought it was a parody. Like, Ooh, cause, yeah, cause you, just, you just see it and just like, okay, what's the at on this? And then you just see Nintendo of America. It's like, what? This Because like people have been kind of asking, well, Xenoblade fans, I think, has been asking for this as like a far-fetched dream. Like, oh, it's going to come to Switch 2 or something like that. It's like, yeah, maybe not. It's Xenoblade Chronicles X is not. Well, I wouldn't say it's like as like the genre of that game is not as popular as the rest of the Xenoblade games, um, but they did it, which I was I'm very surprised they did this first before a Fire Emblem game, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, I still think that's out there. <laughs> it's at, it's out there in the ether. They're just waiting. Yeah, and, just waiting to another treat. <laughs> like that's um, you're just a tweet away. <laughs> I'm just like holding on to dear life. It's like come on, like just just give it to us. But anyways. I'm I'm very excited for Xenoblade Chronicles X, but Donnie, it's it's rough. It's releasing on the same day. Guess which game, Donnie? Atelier. You know, Atelier Yumia. Yeah. Atelier, right? Yeah, yeah. I gotta get that game. Based on the it trailer we saw, I gotta get that game. Physics <laughs> for the physics, science. The action. <laughs> it actually looks like much more modernized RPG. So it looks can't good wait for that one too. Um. Yeah, so here's the thing. When I when I saw the announcement in the tweets in the Discord, I was like, that's mm-hmm. cool. I hope people get it. I was like, I'm not going to get it because I still have the Wii copy, and I was like, I'm not going to get it. And then I watched the trailer, and I saw the music, and I was like, okay, and maybe I'll get it. Like, <laughs> like, like, I still have that. There's still that little pull in me. It's like, maybe I, I probably won't. Like, that... I, I feel like this is crazy because it feels like Xenoblade titles only go up in value after they come out. Mm-hmm. But, like, yeah. if I could get a deal on it, I think I would. I would pop. 
Mm-hmm. Like if I could find like twenty dollars off or something, I think I would get it. Um, mm-hmm. I just I I know I don't have the time to sink into a game. Like I played Xenoblade for like months of my life. Yeah, it sounds like a game we won't finish, but no, at least no. get into it. And- at least I wouldn't. I'm sure other people will, but I don't have that kind of in me. Yeah. Um, but it's interesting. So with Xenoblade Chronicles X, 2025 Switch lineup starts to shape. Not mm-hmm. Switch Two. So we have Donkey Kong crazy. Uh, HD in January, Civ 7 in February, Xeno X, Atelier, and Suikoden and Remasters in March with the Capcom Fighting Collection, Star Overdrive, Professor Layton, Silk Song, Pokemon Legends, Nightmare, Little Nightmares 3, and Prime 4 all announced for to be determined some point next year. So Free to Play Joe writes in with Nintendo announcing Xenoblade X coming to the Switch in March. Are you now expecting Switch 2 to arrive later in the year? He puts in pr- uh, quote parentheses fall holiday window question mark i don't think that late i think no. i think like june may, may june. june yeah mm-hmm. feels like does this make you think differently at all no. not at all not even a little bit no okay i'll just look at it like well they're gonna just put it out there you can, you can still play it on switch too anyway so mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yeah when are they gonna announce it now that's that's the question it's gonna uh, not gonna be this year i think january I mean, December, if you think if it was January. this year, you think that would have happened by now, right? Yeah, yeah pretty much. I think. Gonna... <sighs> Every time we get close, you know, the questions will start coming. Is there any way they do this at the Game Awards? No. I don't I think so either. I don't think so. But, but, you know, I think everybody, that'll be the next one that gets all the rumors going. Mm-hmm. They don't want it to be with everything else. <laughs> that would be my take. Yeah, that would be my take. Nintendo too. does not play nice with Keeley. Maybe early January. They used to. I did Zelda and stuff there. Donkey Kong. Mm. It was a long time ago. But they, did, ago. they showed Breath of the Wild in, in the Keeleys, right? Did they? Yeah. I, I remember they had like the game pad out and they showed that was like one of the first times we saw Breath of the Wild, I think it was at the game. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Um okay. We saw the DLC. It was the DLC for Breath of the Wild that was at the Game Awards, and then it was like shadow dropped. I'm thinking like before the Switch was ever out. They, I, I remember they had so. they had the gamepad and they showed us how to like. That was not. Like, that was not at the Game Awards. Like that was E3. I think. That was E3. Was it E3? Mm-hmm. Why do I feel like Jeff Keighley was was Jeff Keighley doing E3 then? Is that why? Because I know Jeff Keighley. Like Jeff Keighley Maybe. was there. Right. Jeff <laughs> like I know Jeff Keighley was in the frame because it was like him and Reggie. Think, or maybe maybe I just got that all wrong. Chat, somebody Google figure that out. I don't know. Maybe it it's, it's been a long time. I'm doing all this runs together. Okay, Nintendo Music app is announced. It's available Jeez. now. This is exclusive to Nintendo Switch Online members. You can download the new music app right away on your iOS or Android device. This will allow users to stream or download music from the various soundtracks Nintendo's released over the years, including games that are now decades old. Super Mario Bros. Wonder soundtrack has been added to the Nintendo Music service, and uh, new titles with music will be available to listen and added to the uh, app from time to time. The next edition is scheduled for next week. Um, this week. Oh yeah, this week now. Yeah. yeah. Um, quote when asked about like they 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 had a uh, an interview going around, so they had a couple quotes on why they wanted to do this. So here here's Nintendo's reasoning. Quote: We believe that game music is an important and valuable piece of content in order to expand the number of people who have access to Nintendo IPs. And Nintendo Music is a service that allows us to deliver this game music in a way that is unique to to Nintendo. You can enjoy the unique features of Nintendo Music, such as being able to enjoy music along with screenshots and being provided with playlists based not only on game titles, the various game themes and perspectives, such as characters or music during battles. And we believe that if Nintendo Music reminds you of your favorite gaming experiences, it will inspire you to want to play the games again. Cool. There's a nice little feature on it where if you want to enjoy the music, but maybe you have not beat the game yet, there's like a spoiler mode where it will Mm. like hide like any titles that you know like final boss oh, it's like later in the game yeah yeah, yeah things that. that like would be considered a spoiler uh which pretty, I cool. pretty neat what i need and i've been listening to it i downloaded it it's pretty pretty cool has some good music i need there to be more music there's not really a ton on it right now there's like 25 games something like that yeah there's like two zelda games yoshi's yeah. island a couple of metroid um but what i need is for them to have it be like spotify wrapped at the end of the year and mm-hmm. show me what That's i have been listening idea. to the most at the end of the year just like how they do the nintendo games that you played at the end of the year 
Interesting. Mm. That'd be cool. I have been listening to the Wii just background music and just press the button, extend it six yes, hours. Yes, you can extend it too. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. And I'm just like, just let me listen to that as I work. I um in Zen mode. Uh, re appreciated Nintendogs music from this app. Um, it, it's funny. They say, we believe if Nintendo music reminds you of your favorite game ex- experiences, it will inspire you to want to play the games again. It kind of is doing that for me. I want to play Nintendogs again, and I'm thinking about putting it on my Delta emulator, but I'm not sure if that's what they had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what they had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo music encouragingly drives downloads of ROMs. Piracy, like yeah. <laughs> Pirate goes up 700%. Right. I've been waiting for them to do this for a very long time, and I already have Nintendo Switch Online, so it does not bother me that it is exclusive to that. That just means I don't have to pay extra for it. And I, I will listen to it a lot, especially if they add more games. Especially Delver. the well, I shared music, some. Uh, so good. I shared some very uh, opposite opinions on the music app. If oh, really? Like to hear them? Yeah, yeah. I'm okay, on the opposite side of Rebecca here. Um, this is a part of it. I feel like there were some Nintendo fans on Threads that were fucking pissed at me, man. <laughs> oh. um, look, before I say the things I want to say, I'll just say this: I don't really care. Like, I'm kind of indifferent to this. Like, it doesn't bother me that it exists. I don't want it to go away. So it's not like I hate it. Um, but when I saw it. Like so many of these other things that we're starting to see, Alarmo and refrigerators and toasters and shit like, like, what are we even doing? Like, this is this isn't what I want from this at all. Nor do I think I'll ever use this ever, um, because I like at least to me thought like the rest of the world this is what YouTube is for. Like, I already have this yeah. and have had this for a long time. It is not because I can't close my phone and listen to music. Yeah. So a lot of our folks in the Discord were like, well, we're all not all premium members. And I'm like, well, maybe you should be. Because <laughs> like, 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 I don't have ads and like I have been able to download and, and, and play things in the background and do all like, you know so I've been able to do this for a decade. I'm subscribed to? There's way too many things I'm subscribed to. I didn't well, and I'm not either. trying to pitch you one way or the other, but I, well, what I will tell you is the same thing that I, I've said this for years. YouTube Premium is like the one subscription that I've I've subscribed to it literally for a day. De- I've never thought of unsubscribing. It's never even it's never even ventured in my brain, because not only do I not get ads and can do background listening everything that I do on YouTube, but then I also get YouTube Music as part of it. Like it's also my music subscription, so it's also Spotify. So for me, it's just really nice. Okay. So I'm sure that's a big part of the reason why I saw this news the way that I saw it. Um, but there's also more there because as a Nintendo Switch online subscriber, I see these things that they're adding and I see this service and I, I'm I'm not worried, but like I don't like the idea that when Switch 2 comes or something that they're like, and now we're going to raise the price because we've added value. And I'm like, well, you didn't oh. you didn't add any value for me. I don't want to pay extra because you've added a, a music service. Also, it's not even on the Switch. Why would you want to? Li- I'm sorry, but why would you want to listen to the music on your Switch? You're not going to be carrying around like an MP3 player. Well, it's not just that you can't use the app on the Switch, but like, wouldn't it be cool if you could like just have music playing while you were playing a game on the Switch? Like, I never use that on console Xbox. Console Johnny, they don't even let us uh, combine two different games of icons. I can't put I'm, an Animal Crossing character with a Zelda background on my profile picture. Just, Do you think they're going to let me play Animal Crossing music while I play Zelda? No. Well, yeah, but then why throw it in the subscription then? Like, why be like, and this is a benefit for you? Like, if it's not, I'm not adding anything for to the Alarmo. subscription. Right. <laughs> that is it's the not, reason. It's not, it's not adding anything to why I subscribe to the subscription. Like, I subscribe yeah. to the subscription not for apps and music. I subscribe to the subscription for games. Like, add more games. That's no, what I the like Nintendo it. Switch online subscription is for. I'm as glad. soon as I saw this, that's the first thing I thought. This is going to be an all. This is going to slap an Alarmo. You just put this in. You can have yeah. listen to your Nintendo music on it. You can wake up to certain Nintendo song. Like this is again, what this is for. I don't subscribe to Nintendo <laughs> Switch Online for Alarm. Like that's well, not why I'm subscribing. That's what you're getting, buddy. <laughs> no, that I get. That I $10 get. Ten dollars so. a year for a really good deal. So I could go. Like I could leave. <laughs> I can leave. I mean, like, why does every my opinion have to be no, no, sandwiched no, no, no. Like, between rep- like I, we, we we got I don't it. We disagree. You. You like I don't it. disagree with you at all. I think you're right. <laughs> I think it adds value to the podcast because it gives us, you know, 
it's I think t- this Nintendo Music app is just a good official way to get the music. Like, if I go into YouTube or whatever, I get like twenty thousand different versions of one song. And is anybody like, else no. afraid that maybe they're going to go harder after the music now? Because that was the I think they already are. I had. I think yeah. they already are. I think they will. Yeah. That no was the first thought I had. Against I was like, all the music versions oh no. on, on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, they like and then you're going to go to the Nintendo YouTube music channels. Like, hey, why don't you just go over to the Nintendo the music channel? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Subscribe. Switch online. Subscribe. Yeah. We've Put increased the Lombo. amount to 20 bucks a, a month now. So you better better subscribe. I and I look, I wholly realize that I feel like I was definitely on the outs in this one. I know a lot of folks were very upset. A lot of people are really hyped for this. And I'm glad they're finding more out of it than me. Maybe it is the fact that I've just had YouTube premium forever and a lot of these things I don't feel like I need. Yeah. Um but I don't think that's, I'll how, use that's how I that's how I took to this news. I was like, uh, okay. Yeah, I well, hopefully this is not a motivation to increase the price of, of Nintendo Switch online in any way. Cause I don't think I don't, so because don't you don't even so. need the expansion pass to expansion pack to have this. You mm. know, this is on the lower tier. This is on the right. first tier. Okay. I mean, it's like they. It's like um, when they launch the service, right? A lot of the renewals are kind of this time of the year. Mm-hmm. So I think every year people expect them to have something to like, kind of like retain people. And and by the way, wasn't this thing downloaded like? It's like the top of the chart. Like it's very successful, mm-hmm. you know. So like every b- people, are, for this week. yeah, like <laughs> people are bought bought in. So don't get me wrong. Like I'm, I'm the, the success is there. So whatever Nintendo's doing, it's working. So I don't think they care that I don't like it. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of. It seems like that. Like let's throw this out there, and anybody thinking about maybe not subscribing, like this is like an added benefit for them to subscribe. Yeah, sounds good. So we'll see. Um. So some headlines. Uh, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp Complete comes out December 3rd for 20 bucks. If you buy in early, you can get it for $10. That's a one-time fee. You can have the game forever, which is nice. That's good. Um, the Splatoween contest was won by Team Ninja. Team Wizard got the most votes. Did you play? Hold on. Wait, what? Wait, that happened? That did yeah. happen. I did that play happened. a little bit, and I was so over it because I picked Team Wizard. Oh, so and what? All I was so getting... like an election. <laughs> like, team Wizard got the popular vote. Yeah, they got the, the most votes. <laughs> team, team but Ninja, Ninja won the electoral college. I was on Team <laughs> Wizard, and I the only matches I was getting was mirror matches against other Team Wizard, and it is just not fun to play. That's collusion. Just mirror matches. <laughs> so I only played for like an hour, maybe, and then I stopped. That has been um that has been like the Splatoon experience for like forever, right? <laughs> like like feel like this just happens. Yeah, I hope they go back to only two teams for the um mm-hmm. for the next game. Mm-hmm. Three is just is too much. It's rough. Yeah. As we talked about earlier, Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket uh launched ten million downloads in forty eight hours, which I'm not really surprised at, but that still is shit done. Like it's crazy, but Pokemon yeah, is that big. We have a mobile game like this new, like we're just like mobile game, mobile game, mobile app, mobile announcement. <laughs> Um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Rita's Rewind comes December 10th for $35. That's a lot. It is. I'm still probably going to get it. Chernobylite de- Complete Edition am. is uh, coming to Nintendo Switch. Shadow Man and Turok 2 Seeds of Evil hit Nintendo Switch Online for the the 17 pl- NC17 app. You have to download the Mature <laughs> 64 app and then you can play Shadow Man and Turok which... um. I would wholly recommend, but also just to throw this out there, if you're a Nintendo Switch Online member, just go ahead and get that because it's free. But both of these games have been remastered by Night Day. And yes, uh, they're frequently on sale. So if you want better versions, buy those. And then uh, I threw this one in here for you, Delvin. Masayoshi Yokoyama says Yakuza Kwame on Switch is selling like hotcakes. That's a quote. Uh, Sega sends survey to Switch players asking if they want more Yakuza. Of course, of course, they do. Of course so, they do. I would go ahead and just take that survey as expect lots of Switch two ports. Like expect yeah. the ports, the ports Bring coming them all to Switch. Yeah, they're all coming. So all nine games. Yes, no joke. Um, man, we have another car into the wall. God, it's like a sort of, it's like Mario Kart out here. Um, <laughs> Wait, I just want to say, speaking of Alarma, we were talking about earlier, they uh, were able to hack it and get Doom running on Alarma. Of course. So Good job. That's the, uh, I know that's the benchmark for devices, whether or not they can get 
doom running on him. To be fair, G-Man, Donnie says buy get both. <laughs> to subscribe and buy the Rena. That's do both. Um, but that's the news, Rebecca. That is the news. Hey, what do you think the next? I know you don't care, Donnie, but if you were to <laughs> guess what the next batch of tracks coming next week to Nintendo Music will be, what do you think they will add? I would hope it's Xenoblade X if it's not already there. I was talking with my friends. We were wondering if they'll add music as the game releases. Yeah. But I am wondering if like people will really need to turn on spoiler mode because you'll want to listen to the music. But if you don't play the game to completion before listening to the music, like, I don't know, maybe they should wait like a week. Who knows? I got to tell you, I'm not looking forward to like the weekly updates of like, and here's what's being added to the music app this week. Like, and I, like, I don't plan on covering it. So Rebecca, you may need to insert those as like, I don't plan on, I will uh, keep everyone updated. <laughs> yeah. I don't plan on updating people on the podcast. They, they may tag it with the Nintendo stuff. switch online games. Like here's yeah. all the That's games true. and then here's the music. That is so true. Garrett. Mm-hmm. Very good point. It is. Not- I do. Th- we, we, collectively like the greater internet have like kind of made fun of nintendo for years for like drip feeding games that's their mo you know like in a in, like any and it is crazy that they're like here's this music app that you can listen to our entire history of music but it but you can't you can listen to 20 games worth of music and it's like that's not even that's not honestly it's not not even a little bit of what should be there <laughs> you know, like it's such a small Listen, when they added mario wonder like the day after the music app dropped i was like man like wouldn't it be cool if they added one game a day oh i thought she was gonna say wouldn't it be cool if i played mario wonder i was like i'm gonna punch something i'm gonna punch my <laughs> TV. like if this is the thing that gets her to play wonder i quit <laughs> like it's over that would be amazing <laughs> i think nintendo understands that what they they sell is kind of like a dopamine hit kind of like a drug oh, of course true, so they're true. just like they're slow drip feeding they're you know like, us, yeah, I got us you. man child and, and, and children as well so yeah, there we go man. they keep pushing and it's I, is there like a, a number out there for number of first party games? Like, I'm curious how many total first party games. Oh, that is have. an interesting question. Like, how theoretically, many games I know I'm trying total to get it. Has Nintendo like, made this? Is a list, but I, I don't want to count all of all it all time. This is like, it must be like two or three thousand. Is it, would you think it's that many? I think so. It depends mm. if you mean published and developed too. It's no, like a, I'm talking just developed, like just oh. first party, like not even counting like. Okay. Well, maybe. it's hard because every time I look at numbers, it's all telling us how many copies of games they've sold, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. not how many they've made. I know. Maybe like Nintendo portfolio. Somebody should do that. Somebody should count that up. I wonder if anybody's done it. List of all first. Yeah. So I don't want a list. Had to have. Done I don't it. want a list. I want a number. Yeah. Go ahead, count Ooh, hang on. Shit, no way. Count oh, up. oh, this might be it. License games. Hang on, I need a calculator. I need a chat GBT. I That's got what this we need. Number at Garrett. <laughs> Don't list here. Look, Nintendo fandom has a list of Nintendo games by year in North America, and it's broken down. It's broken up by year. What if I, I just don't copy know if and this paste? Makes sense it, at all, but this says GBT. total list of games by region, which I added up, and it comes out to two thousand eighty-four. Does that seem low or high? Sounds about yeah. right. That seems it says Japan, right. they've released 1,062 games. They've released 675 in North America and 347 in Europe. And I'm sure there's some duplicates in there. Like yeah. some of them got to be like, like the same releases. Like I but said, just how to pug, go count them all up. And don't give us no duplicates. Do your goddamn <laughs> job. Don't I fuck like, this we, up, count a pug. We're the podcasters and we're like throwing at everybody else. Like, hey, everybody else, do our work. <laughs> So we yeah. don't have to. <laughs> I tried to ask ChatGPT because I copy and pasted the list of games, and it said the mm-hmm. message you submitted was too long. <laughs> that You've right. broken Microsoft somewhere. All right, I will take one for the team, <laughs> and I will count them after the podcast. ChatGPT says roughly yeah. 700 first-party games. It's like giving me likely estimates, like in the hundreds. All right. Well, I will. I will go mm-hmm. through and I will count this after. Well, that's crazy because okay. I've got. We- this is we've released two thousand video games in Japan, just mm. just Japan. That might be, that, that, that might include licensed things. Like that might include like 
you know, published like, and licensed stuff yeah. and like, you know, things mm, that are not first part fair, developed. Fair. Okay. That's mm-hmm. good. Figure it out, Counterpug. Ch- you have Ch- a week. He searched three sites for this kind of a answer, week. too. Like, a week. for 2024. We need this by the end of the pod, be... though. <laughs> well, okay. Then your boss, Don, he has spoken, Kyle the Pug. You have until the end of the pod to come up with an answer. <laughs> Do it. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Here's some real questions from our listeners. Oh, we don't need those. <laughs> Actual <laughs> questions. Starting from a different Kyle. Cro- Croco Kyle? Yeah. Croco Kyle. Are y'all looking forward to or planning to play Mario and Luigi Brothership? He says, oh, I no. love this series on handheld and put it on the same pedestal as Paper Mario. So it's a definite day one pickup for me personally. Nice. I've been playing... Um, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions on the 3DS during my commute. I'm almost done with the game as well. It's very, very good. Um, again, I, I'm not going to pick it up day one, but it's definitely on my radar. Like December, January, going to go for it for sure. It looks really good. It looks really like a step up in quality. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And and it's developed by Acquire. Mm-hmm. The same in Unreal. People, in Unreal. The same people who made Octopath Traveler one and two okay is pretty interesting there's a lot of deep rpg roots in there so i'm very excited for this game for sure anyone else I'll check it out I'll definitely check it out no yeah, but yeah, i'm no. glad that they're still making mario and luigi after Me too. what was it alpha dream uh shut down is it alpha dream or yeah yeah something like that yeah yeah they got bankrupt they basically went all in on 3ds during the switch era it's just like <laughs> really you're gonna do that that's true, and uh, that's a part of... I don't want to say a part of why I don't like them, but those are the last ones that I played, and I'm just... Because I played those, I wasn't... I've kind of formed the opinion that I'm just not that into Mario mm-hmm. and Luigi games. They were good. They were good remakes of, of the games in 3DS. It's just like, yeah, you're doing this on year two of Switch, though. Why are you mm-hmm. doing this on Switch? And so, yeah, they, they kind of... Well, to answer Cro- uh, Croco yeah. Kyle, uh, the answer is no. I'm not, I'm not planning on playing it, just because... I'm not really into these, like, you know, it's the RPG. We used to have Garrett here, and then Kevin was here for this. Like, we had people for this for this splice, and I was never in it. You know, these aren't my my favorite Mario games. They're, they're, a little, they're just a little too slow for me. They're fun. Just a fun little side Mario game, side quest. I, I like them a lot. So I'm definitely going to try it. Okay. I'm rooting for it because I do agree. It looks great. Visually, it's like it looks great. Like, I'm definitely hoping it, it plays well with the people that like it. Kyle the Pug, you have to count all of the Nintendo franchises that they have. I'm Get doing it. I'm doing it right now. Kyle's off the hook. I'm doing you, it right you now. Can, you can do it on Excel and just highlight all yeah. the cells. And then... Oh my god, wait, that's genius. Oh my god, why am I not doing that? <laughs> what? Crap. Rebecca's over there going, one. This this two, is why we shut up. This is... <laughs> three. I lost count. Five, oh four. my god. <laughs> I can't with y'all, but I have to get rid of some of them. Have the years, so I have to. I have to get rid of some columns here. How do? Is there? Is there a shortcut on my keyboard for delete row? Ooh, no! Eric, you just gotta right click it. I don't think so. Oh my no. god! Right click. Are you serious? You can search it on ChatGPT. Oh, what is with you and ChatGPT? Please. I had a teacher this week uh, trying to oh, come no. up with a slogan for our school with the same letter as the acronym. And like he's coming up with like, oh, it can be creative. It can be cute. It can be cool. I'm like, cause, and he used ChatGPT to find it. And I'm like, you couldn't have thought of those words with your brain. You're a teacher. Use your brain. It's going to be the end of us. And it's ironic coming from Garrett, who's been screaming about the end of us forever. He's like global warming and pollution. But he's like, let's give chat GPT all the power it needs to operate. (laughs) You see, like science fiction has warned us about this for hundreds of years. And Donnie, I've chronicled sagas and we are willfully going right at it. We're yeah, like, yeah, let's let the robots do it. In. Has anyone seen a documentary called Terminator? The Terminator, The yes. Matrix, iRobot. Like, it's been over and over. <laughs> they keep telling us the same thing. We keep like, well, fuck it. Elon's doing it, and we're like, go, go. <laughs> like, we're cheering him on. after this week, I'm telling you. It's ah. going to be the end of us. It's the end yeah. of us for sure. <laughs> uh, all right. Now the other Kyle, Kyle the Pug. Fuck you, Kyle the Pug. Rebecca saves your ass this week. Uh huh. 
Since Super Mario Party Jamboree has been out for some time, do you think it has surpassed Mario Party Superstars as the superior Switch Mario Party game? Plus, do you think Superstars became waste potential with no DLC? I would say for that last question, definitely. Superstars was such a good Mario Party game, but it had such little content as far as boards and characters. Has any uh, Mario Party gotten DLC? Yeah, uh, Super Mario Party, the first one on mm, the Switch. Yeah. Hmm. Was it DLC just characters? No, it was also boards. They got boards. The boards. I think too, I do remember yeah. boards. Yeah. Um. I mean, I would. My answer would just be. I, I don't think I can answer that right now. I haven't played it enough to really come up with a, a consensus on. That. I think it's a very good Mario Party game. I do too. Yeah. I mean, I think it'd be like a. I, I like. I think maybe like a top five Mario Party for me. Yeah. I may just be, be convenient, but I, I agree with you. I think it's a really good Mario Party game. I'm really glad I got it. But. I got to play Mario Party like in a bunch of different situations with a bunch of different people and stuff before I can really like tell you like is it like well, before mm -hmm. I bring them. You know, I don't have enough hours into it yet. I gotta, you need people for that. You gotta have like, I need like holidays together. and stuff like yeah, it's yeah. Into, like Mario Party would be like a game that I like wouldn't want to like review. Like in 2 weeks give us your full opinion on right. this Mario like I need some time to play it like with people. It's not like <laughs> sort of have, game. You got to have some parties first. Have people over yeah. to play it and hang out yeah. and yeah. It's yeah. really hard to kind of pin down. Like, all is everyone having fun? That's the whole thing of Mario Party. If you're having fun with it, then it's a good Mario Party game. If you're not, like, okay, this is not it. Yeah. Yep. Real quick for Nintendo Labo, are we counting Variety Kit, Robot Kit, and Vehicle Kit as three separate games, or are we counting yes. Nintendo Labo as said so those are three separate games? They sold them separately. So Labo is one, Variety Kit is two, Robot Correct. Kit is three, and V. Okay. Okay. I don't know anything. You're about still that. going through this. You wow. had like three to yeah, like I I'm actually I, I gave her an out. Now. I was say, I'm I, on I sheets it. now. I'm on sheets. We're good. We're good. We're good there. I gave her it out. Different games. But she chose wow. to do oh, like okay, games. Okay. I noticed that 2024 is not up to date. So I have Luigi's Mansion 2, Mario versus Donkey Kong. Nintendo World Championship NES edition, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, Princess Peach Showtime. Uh, is Echoes of Wisdom the only one that's missing here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As far as first party game goes? I think All so. right. First party games in North America. Did 600. You say, is Emil the Smiling Man a first party game? Oh, yes. Ooh, good call. <gasps> good There's call. no way we're ever going to find this number. <laughs> No, okay, wait. If you can tell me, no, no, no. If you can tell me one more first party game that came out this year, I'm trying to think of one that you didn't. And it's name. about to come out, Mario and Luigi Brotherhood. Hey, yeah, Mario on the brothers. Listen to me. If this list is accurate, Mario and Luigi Brotherhood is going to be in North America the six hundred and sixty six Nintendo. Game. Nice, nice. Definitely playing it. Here's another wrench in your in your algorithm. Are we counting mobile games? Um, like, did they publish them? Like, would we count those? Like, this Fire Emblem yeah, Heroes so. and no, those are not real. Animal games. Animal Crossing. Well, they're they're not developed this by Nintendo. Is list though, of right? All of the games right developed or Some published are. by Nintendo yeah. in order of the US release here. I think it. I think it did count mobile games. Okay. Okay. It's just something to think about. I, I'm not saying it should or should it. We 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 had an option. Uh, is yeah. Fitness Boxing three on your list? Probably. Oh, uh, for twenty twenty four. Yeah. Did that come out? I don't know. It's on this list. I just looked at. I don't even know if it's like legit. <laughs> like, I don't know. Is uh, that Nintendo developed? Okay, we're we're in the six hundred sixty. So GPT was close. Like it. So it, so the moral of the story <laughs> is, if they released one game to the app, the music app a day, they would have two years of content. The, the moral well, of the story is we should. They needed like twenty years of content, though, Rebecca. They they want you <laughs> to keep on hold for dear life for this Nintendo Music app. That's what uh, they're gonna do. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. They're not giving us like one. Like that's the other thing. These these games have like twenty songs each. They're gonna give us like three songs a week. Stop. Yeah. Don't even say. Yeah, that. they're not even. They're not exactly. doing albums. They're not doing full <laughs> albums. They're like you'll get track six of soundtrack A. This week, <laughs> and you'll like it. Oh, this is this is. I don't. I don't. I don't necessarily like this. Kyle's face is an emote now. No, who did this? 
Someone should be fired. This is a thing? <laughs> We're doing this now? Someone should be fired. What is happening at Twitch? <laughs> like, uh, they, there's no standards or anything? You just load anything in there? Like, just put anything up in this shit. Any type of bullshit. <laughs> All right. Drew asks us, hey, guys, this past week, my roommate dropped my Switch and cracked the screen. Punch him in the, the face. Corner. I think Man, punch them in the Drew. face. No, you need a new roommate. No, I don't know what to them. do now. Get a newer used switch or hold off to the next system. I've had this regular switch for almost six years now. Hold Drew, on, hold on, hold on. is the switch question. playable? That's not the that's question. The question. the question is, why is your roommate paying for this switch? Yeah, Ooh. that's true. Yeah, you yeah, broke my shit. You, you pay for this. I'm not paying for this. Fuck out of here. No, I think it's... No. Listen, it's... Not, I would not make my roommate pay for it if I got along with my roommate. Uh, no, absolutely not. You would pay for my Switch. Switch. If the Switch works, you play it in docked mode until the Switch 2 Good comes call. Out. I didn't oh, think docked mode. Good sure. call, Rebecca. I if mean, I was not, Rebecca... It's not worth losing you know, a relationship with your roommate over. If no, I was sorry. Rebecca, I too wouldn't make my roommate buy one. I would make Delvin buy one. <laughs> Unless the switch, switch was broken, if it was broken and does not work, then I would probably ask for him to get it fixed or replaced. Look here, Drew. You need to start asking for some reparations. <laughs> if anything, I am an expert on not getting reparations. <laughs> I've experienced financial burden. So you owe me damages. Delvin has had enough. You need to get reparations for your switch. <laughs> okay, who's this, Drew? Drew, here's here's the answer. Okay. For the right price of like one hundred and fifty nine ninety nine, you can get Not yourself very, a Switch Lite. Do that, and it's no, that is a good idea. But just, just, just suck it up until a couple months when the Switch Two is out. If you are a docked player, you will be okay. Might be six months. This is a six year old. Could be Switch longer than that. Yeah, it can, wait, it can wait six months if if they're a docked player. Play if they're not handheld, yeah. yeah. I love that our answer was to like just duct tape it. Like, let's just put some duct tape on it. <laughs> also, it how going. bad is the crack? Because one of my switch has a crack. In fact, I think it's my OG switch. So this is why like she's not good. Like, what? <laughs> no wonder she's like, yeah, just keep it going. My ex dropped it, and there was a hairline. Oh, crack. That's why he's your ex. But yeah. it, it's still playable. Like, it's still you, you can the door. still play it. It is not yeah, that bad of a crack. Mm. So no, I think so. you need to suck it up, Drew, and like not get mad at your roommate, and like get mad at your roommate. Just man up and be absolutely patient. not, absolutely not. Stab reparations, him. Drew. So you have a variety of opinions to go based off of now. Fuck, fuck that! You're gonna fix this switch today. I'm gonna just light the apartment on fire. You yeah. Know, like, what? Just... <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Lucky this is Shackle. I want to say what I really want to say. This is a moment for you to prove that you mean business. Okay? Yeah. Drew at all. Look. Overreact. If oh this roommate god. has a child, you this kidnap their the first child. Between men and women. <laughs> Tell them, you I will get the child oh, back. Look, she said, wait a minute. She said, can I, I say, say something? something? Here comes the sexist remark. I need to say something. This, men are violent and yes. aggressive. And why should we have a man leading this country? This Tuesday, go out and vote. Hey, for a I can woman. get behind this. Yeah, I'm because all on this. Women are all about 100% supported. Thank you, Garrett. Yeah. Women I completed are all the mission. about solving problems and getting along with, you know, people and overcoming our problems. Guys, yes. it's your all ex? about solutions. Goddamn solutions. right. Solutions. I That's offered right. Drew a solution. You offered I did something too. that is going to be combative towards his living Let's situation. Let's end the drama. Okay. Let's end the all drama. Right. Go out and vote this Tuesday. Yes. I like it. Also, sometimes you gotta fuck a motherfucker up. <laughs> sometimes you gotta whoop some ass. Here comes Maga Delvin. He's like, listen. <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> look. Sometimes you gotta be the shout of somebody. Look, bro, you broke my shit. <laughs> I need, wow. I need some, I need wow. some reparations. Oh, go vote and go vote for the right person. It's goddamn sure not that orange fuck. <laughs> but also, get your switch fixed. <laughs> I think Drew is Australian, so that's very funny. Uh, Wait, can man. you get switches fixed? Like, do, do, does anybody do screen replacements on a Switch? Oh, yeah, they definitely yeah. do. Yeah, Nintendo is that a does. thing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's do that crazy. then. You can also it's go rough. take it to your mall and they'll probably do it. You know, the mall. Do you know, how, do you know, well, do you know how to screen replace? You, you know, you, do you know the process of that? No. You literally have to heat up the screen 
in order yes. to loose the adhesive. Oh hell no! And then and then you pluck you pluck it out with pressure. I ain't like, welding. Like a little, We're not doing it, it, that. That that's what a screen replacement is. And I'll so, call Nintendo. They have a well shop that's doing that too, though. You can go to like a gaming gaming store; they'll do it for you. <clears throat> you break Things like eighty but, bucks or yeah. something like that. And we're gonna make the Australian roommates pay for it. I thought she was about to say we're gonna make Australia great again. I was like, what? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just want to say something because I think maybe us we're seeing like we're seeing some stuff being entered into the chat like mm-hmm. on our end. Just know that the person is blocked and is not coming through for viewers. So for oh. the three of us, just disregard yeah, it. Oh, is that, that on YouTube? Cool. Because I didn't see it. Yeah, nobody's seeing it but us. Yeah, I'm not paying attention to that. Great. <laughs> All right. Uh, our final question is from Todd Oxtra with Alarmo and the, Nint- and the music app announcement. What other strange announcements would you like from Nintendo next? I think a Nintendo bidet would be great and it could play water wow. theme music while it's Fucking sprays. Todd Oxtra. And the pipe no- noises when you flush. The Zoro Stream 1000? Yeah. <laughs> I, I just think Mario Sunshine theme all over that Nintendo bidet. You just think, wahoo, and Mario. Oh, just, yeah, the flood. Oh, that's yeah, better. Yes. The flood. Mm-hmm. You can buy the flood. That's good. Yeah, that's My answer is a lawnmower. A what? 100% oh, yeah. the lawnmower. Lawnmower. The lawnmower. Oh. Yeah, I need that Link 850 <gasps> gas powered Briggs and Stratton. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> think of John Deere. It's all green and like it was gold. It's gold. With that green pinstripes, you got a little and link you, on the side, and it pl- it goes higher, higher. When you start it up, yeah. When you start it up, it goes ah. <laughs> <laughs> that I'll actually buy. Nintendo Switch Online subscriber, I'd actually get you. Get me on that. Lord. I'm over here yelling about that the alarm on music and shit. You get me on one of those. That would be good. I want to see real life uh, m- mortgage loan offers uh, from Nintendo with Tom Nook Tom Nook themed. Let me uh, the- let me get a loan from Nintendo through the the Tom Nook Nintendo program. Credit Services. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Again, the financial system. Bank of Nook Nook. loans. Too much. Nook yeah. loans. That's what we need to be. If we're not if we're all not already indebted to Nintendo enough, yeah. Rebecca's like, give me a mortgage. Yeah. <laughs> let, let me I need to earn platinum points. Real life. Yeah. <laughs> I need to earn platinum points on the bells that I give you every month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I pay my mortgage in bells? <laughs> oh man, could you imagine if they got into like crypto? <gasps> they started doing bells and like the crypto. That, market. that would be insanity. <laughs> yeah. It'd be utter chaos. I think it would shift the global economics. Oh, for sure. Yeah. yeah. For sure. That's our last question. Do you have, I mean, it? does anyone have any other crazy, strange announcements? Go buy Xenoblade Chronicles X, March 20th. That is not a crazy, strange product. <laughs> yes. That is not what Todd had in mind. Go punch your neighbor, Drew. <laughs> go punch your roommate. Just go. <laughs> Choose peace and vote. And then punch them. Vote. Yeah, then yeah punch I mean, you can vote for Kamala and then punch your... your yeah, like, you, you can do both. Both, you can both, both are both. totally on the table. You don't have to yeah. sign either or. You can yeah. do both. Drew the Australian. Yeah, yeah Drew, yeah. Drew can't vote. Well, he can vote in his local elections. He's not free as us. Yeah, like he could still punch, though. Yeah, he can still punch. <laughs> the punching is still available. It's on that the is option. still on the table. <laughs> All right, Koopalings, that is gonna do it. I was very happy to have Garrett back for this episode. You should join us more often. I know. That's That's nice. Just, just <laughs> disappointed me completely. I was very I happy to have Garrett back on the show. Yeah. I make Garrett, my grand Garrett return. Garrett was my shack buddy for a the rest long of us. Time. Yeah, I could go. for a long time. Yeah, Donnie, it was just us does. two for a long, mm-hmm. long, long time. So. Donnie's like, for like I'm done for with like Nintendo shack for like 15 months. Yeah, that's yeah. a long yeah. time. Yeah, that's a long time. What? <laughs> no, a yeah. long, long time. Has been here since like 2015. <laughs> yeah, that's a long, long, long time. Long time. <laughs> 15 months. That's a break. A, it was a good time, <laughs> not a long time. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. <laughs> yeah. All right. That is going to do it, Koopalings. Uh, play some video games. Uh, vote. And we will see you next week. With- Maybe. If, if we're still here. Yeah, <laughs> Probably. True. Maybe. So true. Hang so on. True. We'll oh see. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Go on the roller coaster. Tune in Wednesday <laughs> to see if the free world still exists. Yeah. <laughs> it's coming Might great. be rough.
Bye. Bye. Whenever you're ready. All right. This is Frederick from Fire Emblem Awakening. And I forgot the line already. What?